All right, so we're done for today. Congratulations on making it through yet another lesson. Um, and you know, we're, we're making it, right? We're doing a little bit every day and that's what we're gonna continue to do for the rest of the semester. And I really want you here for the entire journey. Um, this goes to a very good place. Um, your, you know, uh, you will get this. It will come tough for some of you and easier for others and that's okay. Uh, but you will get it and we will help you and when you're done with this you will walk away from this class not only with a great deal of additional knowledge but with a skill that you can really use to change the world around you for real i'm not i'm not cynical i i, I cannot be cynical about this because i get to use this skill every day so let me show you one of the things that i did with my computer capabilities that i built up over at least a few years um, we have a help site that we're going to encourage you guys to start using when you need individual support okay we do want you to work on the form uh, we do encourage you to ask questions there as much as possible also go to all of our daily sessions uh, that i'll outline for for, for uh, today as well um, those are incredibly important you know a lot of those are attracting small groups which is fantastic right so this is a great chance to get additional help if you need help on the homework problems or have any questions about stuff. But there's times when you just really need to show your code to somebody. And the forum is not the right place for that. So what we've, what we've done is we've, uh, we've created a, a help site uh, just for you. Um, let me, uh, I'll show you my, uh, so, so this is what it looks like if you're a student and you're gonna come get help, okay? Uh, it's gonna show you the staff members that are online. Uh, I'm currently available. Um, and you know, eventually we'll have multiple people here and it's gonna ask you what you want us to help with. Um, and let's say I'm stuck on today's homework problem. Uh, you hit go and it's gonna put you into a room. Um, and uh, you'll see, I don't know if you can see this, but you know, the staff will be notified and you'll be in a room where um, at some point a staff member will come around to, to help you. So let's make this a little bit more realistic. Let's imagine that over here in another tab, I'm working on uh, that day's homework problem. So today is the time to decade problem. So I've got this over here, okay? Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna be in this room. The guidelines are up here on the right. Um, you wait here. As long as you're here, we know that you're there and, and we'll get there, right? Somebody may not appear immediately, but somebody is going to show up. Um, and the guidelines over here are a pretty good description of how this works. We are not gonna stay with you until your problem is solved. That's the first thing to understand about the help site. Uh, the staff will come in, they'll make some suggestions, and they'll move on, and they'll be back. Um, we don't stick around and kind of watch you do things because we have a lot of other students to help typically. And so the staff are gonna come in, they're gonna look at what you're doing, they're gonna make some suggestions, and then they're gonna move on to the next student that needs help. Um, one thing you need to do so that this works is you have to share your screen with us. So I'm gonna show you uh, an example of how this might look. Now I'm sharing my, uh, my work on time to decade and the staff will be able to see the inputs that I'm, that I'm placing. And this is how we help you. We can see what you're typing, we can talk, uh, we can make suggestions and things like this. Um, please set up your screen so that we can help you. This is not a bad time, for example, to uh, bump up the font size a little bit. Uh, that always helps. Um, sometimes the connection between us and you uh, may not be perfect. Um, and so, you know, the more readable you can make your display, the, and, and we're gonna do some things to help you with this as well, don't worry. Uh, but the more readable you can make your display, the easier it's gonna be on the staff member that shows up. Um, the most important thing to keep in mind about the help site is that this isn't like a support desk at Best Buy or something like that, right? This isn't a place where you like take your problem to get fixed. Our job is to teach, not to just solve your problem. So you're gonna have staff come in and some of them are gonna know what the problem is. A lot of them are gonna know what the problem is, right? Right away, they're gonna look at your code and they're gonna know what's wrong. But if they just tell you, then you've learned nothing from the experience. So don't expect them to do that. Expect them to ask questions, expect them to you know, ask you to explain what a particular part of the code does, right? Ask, expect them to, you know, say what happens if I run the code with these inputs or whatever, right? They are there to teach. They're not there to just solve the problem because if they just solve the problem, they're just leveraging their knowledge and you haven't gained anything. This can be a slow process. It definitely takes longer for us to help you learn how to solve the problem than it would just be for us to say, well, the error is on line three, right? Um, but you know, the staff that are working, they have been very, very carefully trained to make sure that you get the most out of these encounters as possible. 
All right, so that's the new help site. There is no link to it right now as I'm recording this, but by the time you see this video, there will be off the main website and we'll have an announcement about this as well. But when you need individual help on the homework, you know, please come to this and, and, and see if there's a staff available. Eventually, soon, we'll come up with a schedule where we will guarantee that there will be staff available for office hours. Uh, for the next couple, you know, next week or so, bear with us. We're sort of still getting all the different moving parts of the schedule figured out. Um, but we'll eventually have certain hours where we guarantee that staff will be there and available. Okay, so we've gone, I think I've sort of already blown through my, uh, my, my allotment of time uh, for this particular uh, segment. So I'm going to just uh, sign off rather than go through the calendar. But as always, we have lots of, well, actually, I'm sorry, I do need to look at the calendar. Um, so one thing I just want to point out to you uh, today is that we're, we're into our, uh, we're going to be into our normal weekly schedule. So we have a 9 a.m. concept review, we have a 10 o'clock homework review, we have an 11 o'clock daily lesson, that's with me, um, that's the overview, that repeats at 1. Uh, we have quiz prep happening today, we also have quiz prep sessions tomorrow. Um, we have another quiz prep session, so we have both a 2 o'clock and a 6 o'clock quiz prep session. And then we have two uh, help with today's homework sessions, one at 5 and another one at 8. Um, so there's a few holes in the schedule that we didn't have last week because the new student sessions aren't running at this point. So that's what the schedule looks like right now. I think we're going to get one more concept review on here at noon. I just feel like I need to update the schedule, so I think there will be a concept review. That's supposed to be a daily thing. Um, so I just need to get around to doing that. I'll take care of that right now, now that I've noticed it. But, but this is kind of our normal schedule going forward. Uh, please keep your eye on the forum for announcements about when we're going to start to hold office hours. We're still in the process of training some of the new course staff for the class, and so they won't really be fully up to speed until probably a week from now, at which point they'll start helping out with office hours, and you'll start meeting them uh, on the help group, and um, some of them have been active on the forum already. All right, so... Sorry for the somewhat longer than usual announcement, but we're excited about the new help site. I hope uh, you take advantage of it to get some assistance when you, when you do need help. And uh, good luck with today's homework problem, and I hope you enjoyed the lesson.